Hello guys. This is Recaps Now here. Today I am going to explain a movie called Symbol. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts with a Japanese man wearing a colorful attire wakes up in a white, empty room which had no doors, windows or ceiling. When he approaches one of walls for a close inspection, he finds something strange. After this we see the wall is surrounded by numerous baby angels. After a while all baby angels leave. Then we see touch a weirdly shaped button and he screams out in fear, followed by cries of help but nothing works. We then see him pressing the various buttons in the room and each time he pressed a button an object begins to fall from the wall. From a small toothbrush to a big vase. We see he again presses the button and gets the same things and that's how his testing of this concept gives him a pile of chopsticks. His amusement is short-lived however. When he presses the button again a card appears and hits him in the leg. The next button he presses again transforms the shape into a reverse cup structure which passes gas into his face. Sometime later, the man is shown to have gathered a huge bunch of random objects inside the room and when he throws the ball at wall it presses a button and he gets sushi for himself. This makes him excited as he was very hungry but he realizes that he is missing soy sauce. Dot he asks for it but as always gets no reply. So he keeps on pressing the button to get more sushi. After a while, the man feels resigned and starts eating the sushi without any sauce, which he finds to be delicious, and once he finishes, he presses the button again for more, getting furious when a bottle of soy sauce finally reveals itself. We then see him pressing a different button and gets an old pair of 3D glasses. When he puts on the glasses, he finds the baby angel pointing towards its genitals. Here we see the man rejoice as he feels he has solved the problem. However, after pressing that particular switch all he gets is a countdown and a butt appearing to splatter gas straight to his mouth. This phase is called learning. Sometime later, he has finished 5 volumes of a manga that he seems to enjoy a lot. When he presses a button to get the 6th volume, he gets the 7th instead. In frustration he keeps on pressing other buttons and gets the 8th and 9th one but still no 6. The last button he tries though has an important surprise for him, it opens a section of the wall that has a secret door behind it. The man celebrates this, but in his excitement forgets which button opened the door. He tries buttons randomly and finds that an African tribesman running to and fro, the next one makes water fall on his head. The third one turns out to be the one useful to him, and as soon as the walls open, he runs towards it, only to see it close on him. His second attempt also ends up same and then he realizes that the door stays open as long as the member tip is down, so he tries different tactics to achieve it. He tries all tricks he could but is unsuccessful. We then see him putting down a vase on the floor as he had lost track again when he tries again he is met with the African tribesman again. The tribesman bumps into the vase and breaks it. This sends the man to the edge of the room and is seen crying out for help. We then in his frustration he covers up the right button and again a member pops up. Then the man tries covering up with tape and steel, but nothing works. After taking a painkiller to get rid of his pains he takes a nap and wakes up, the man wanted to wash his teeth so he presses a button to get water. This however, was the wrong button that reveals a rope. This improves his mood and he gets a plan, he opens the door, then uses the rope to make it to the wall before the door closes. Sadly, he tries opening the door behind the fake wall, he finds it locked. He returns to the room just in time before the door closes, though it hits him on his way out anyway, and in frustration, he ends up kicking the walls, activating one of the buttons and revealing the keys. Like the door it goes away when the button disappears again, now the man must find a way to keep both the key in the room and the door open. Firstly, he has to find the button again, because he had lost it. We then see that he gets the key in the third try. Then we see him marking the right button with a sushi fish. We then see him swing to find the right button, but it is still not enough. As he falls down he finds a plunger and gets an idea and uses the plunger to break open the walls. While trying to escape he finds another security lock that had to be broken. The man rushes out, getting hit in the process, and in frustration he throws the plunger at the opposite wall, releasing the African tribesman. He then sees a coat on the man's forehead. He somehow opens the door but in the process we see the door closes and he is almost suffocated. We then see the man devastated, and he is left crying and remembers all the fun he had. Suddenly, he feels a breeze pass across his face from the left wall. As soon as he touches it he finds it was fake. He straightaway opens the door and keeps running until he reaches a mysterious hallway floating in a pitch black area. It feels like he spends an eternity running towards an exit, and when he finally makes it to a room, his hair is longer and his pajamas have faded. This room was also faded and empty. He then enters the room and finds adult angels. 
and the similar pattern to the previous one is observed and it is called practice. The scene then shifts to Mexico, where little Antonio's family is worried with the man of the house Escargo man was behaving oddly and was a wrestler by profession. The grandfather of the house argues that experience matters. We then see Escargo man being picked up by his daughter, sister Karen, and she drives him to the wrestling arena. We see the wrestler praying before the match. The scene shifts, and we see Antonio is being bullied by his class fellows for betting on Escargo Man, calling him a loser. As the time of the match approaches, Sister Karen takes her van again and picks up Antonio and their granddad to watch the match. Karen doesn't stay though, and Antonio and his granddad finds corner seats for themselves. After a while we see Escargo Man enter with his partner under the name Kiss Me A Lot. Silver Eagle fights first for his team and starts with a bang. But he is soon overpowered by the opponents who want to fight with Escargo Man, to this he refuses. Until the opponents beat Silver Eagle and Tequila Joe. Escargo Man also faces the same fate but just as the opponent is about to strike, the man in the mystery room presses a button and causes Escargo Man to fight back. When he keeps on pressing the button we see nothing happens in the room but elsewhere, we see Escargo Man win and a fire being lighted in a concert in Los Angeles. Similar incidents occur in a magic show in Russia and in China a man is seen bark at his own dogs. We then see the man give up, in frustration, but he soon finds a way to climb the walls using the buttons and we see that as he climbs the wall something unusual took place on earth. The higher he goes the more devastating the effect is. By the time he reaches the top he had long hair and beard and was able to float on the wall, and using all his experience he embraces his new role as God and is seen choosing humanity's biggest hits intentionally instead of pushing buttons. By the time he finishes we see him in a glowing portal that takes him to the last room. This room had continents on its wall and a huge button the man is about to press. This phase is none other than the future. Thus, the movie ends showing us the three phases of life. Thank you for watching.